Have you ever been in a situation where you created a PowerPoint presentation and you wanted to share it with others, but you did not want to share it as a PowerPoint presentation or even a PDF? Well, today I'm going to show you how to take a PowerPoint presentation and save it as a video file, which you can then upload to YouTube or email or share on a shared space with someone else. Of course, the other advantage of creating a video is that you can have a narration or a voiceover like I'm doing here. So the two types of files that we're going to deal with today are of course your PowerPoint file which is either a PPTX or has a PPT at the end of the file name and we're going to convert our PowerPoint into a Windows Media Video File or a WMV. Well the two critical elements that you need for this are a personal computer running PowerPoint 2010. This may also work with PowerPoint 2007. I don't have that to try because I just discovered this technique myself using PowerPoint 2010. The other thing you need is a good microphone. If you have an internal microphone on your laptop that creates good sound for you, that's probably fine. You can use that. The microphone that I'm using now, which is actually the microphone that's pictured, is a Logitech mic that I picked up at Office Depot for about $10 first thing you want to do of course is to have your slides ready to go and arranged in the order that you're going to be sharing the presentation. Once you have your slides arranged you can begin your slideshow recording. So we're going to set up for our narration. On the slideshow tab you can click the record slideshow button and simply choose to start recording. This will start recording from the beginning. Now if you want to record slide by slide or you'll make a mistake and you need to go back you can click on the little down arrow where it says record slideshow and you see that you have two choices start recording from beginning or start recording from current slide and in fact what I've done for this presentation is record each slide by itself there are two advantages one you don't have to give your whole presentation in one take and the second advantage is that you can still move your slides around and even after you've recorded without too much trouble if you do choose to record your entire presentation in one setting, you may want to use the pause button, which you can click here and then resume recording at any time while you are working on your presentation. After you've recorded a slide, if you decide that you need to re-record it, you can click on the record slideshow to bring up this menu again. Click on clear and choose clear timings on the current slide and clear narration on the current slide. Uh, that is unless you want to re-record the whole thing. Once you have cleared the timing on all slides, you would have to click undo to bring that back. So it's good to be careful and just make sure you click clear the timing or clear the narration on the current slide. Finally, once you are satisfied with your presentation, you want to save it. And what we're going to do is click on Save As Windows Media Video File. This will render your file into the video format and you'll be ready to go. I'd like to share a few tips with you that will make this recording easier for you. The first is to print out your slides with three slides per page as a handout. This will give you a space where you can see the slide and write in some notes or some scripting so that as you go through your presentation you will have something to refer back to on each slide. The second tip is to test your presentation to make sure that you're familiar with any animation that comes into your slides and just the general sequence of slides. Uh, the third tip is to record your voice and re-record as necessary until you're happy with the quality. Then the fourth tip, which is vitally important, is to save your work. As I'm progressing through a presentation, I save after each slide just to ensure that I don't lose any of the work that I have uh, prepared. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please visit my websites, www.personalchange.info or www.douglasgpratt.com. Let me know how your recordings come out for you.